Trying to be the X Factor. Maybe we might do this. We gotta get him tackles for loss. Something like stone wall, maybe, just to ensure. Under pressure. I think we'll just try and play as good as ball as we can. Plus, we're going to have Barrett clean it up, too. we got to get Barrett two or more. Johnny Wilson. That's right, Jared. I forget Jared's a superstar now. He's going to be our pass rusher. What? Does he have a strip ball? He does have a strip ball. Defensive rally. That might actually help. Exactly, would be a good one. I'm gonna go with that, yeah. Make him my pass rusher. Trayvon be the run stuffer. We got Ty League too. Yeah, we got some pretty good guys. That's going to be dangerous. Tyron Smith, good protectors. We got Trayvon. We got Verse. We got Johnny Wilson. So, if Tyron can stay healthy, then, you know, they're going to be able to protect Goff a little while longer. They're going to be home. Let's give them all a class again. We're going to try something new. Instead of multiple D, we're going to try this is Dallas defense. We're still going to go run and gun. <coughs> run and gun. And yeah, we ready. We ready. It's 
week 12 of the National Football League. And we'll be watching the Huskies' towering wide receiver. There's been no shortage of work for him, sitting second in the league in catches. It's the Huskies and the Lions. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, our holiday coverage kicks off with a good one here as it'll be the Huskies of Vancouver taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They come in off the extended break from the bye. I think it was much needed as well. You play two, two and a half months, you're ready for some time off to get set for the home stretch. Meanwhile, for the visiting Vancouver club, the streak continues, doesn't it? They come in a perfect 10-0. And, and it's not yep. just that they're winning, it's how they're winning. All phases of the game coming together for this team. Joey Schlau. It's been a tradition Let since the early days of oh. the NFL, and we're off on Thanksgiving Day in Detroit. Let's get some smack sticks. Oh, Ooh, good tackle, Pat. The 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first overall selection of the 2016 draft. From Cal, it's Jared Goff. You talk about the pause that refreshes. There you I think go. it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, oh, my goodness. It's starting to wind down. Got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he just did a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. Drive starts with a Good tackle, Barrett. There's no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Come on. Second and ten coming up. He's ready to bring the heat, he boy. This defense. They were very good in the victory a week ago over Cincinnati. And the big difference in the game, their ability to force turnovers. Multiple, in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense. Come on, let's play shutdown D. It was impressive. Now the question, can they duplicate it? He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Off play action. Here's gone. Good pressure. Good D, boys. Last week's loss, you bet this offense probably wanted to come out with a little more fire than a three and out. And I'm sure that people are saying, hey, come on, coach, what was the pregame talk? Have these guys Just got to throw a lot at them. both know it goes into preparation and practice and being ready to go. That gives you the confidence to come out and play. They've got to find that fast. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Let's go, Trev. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft. Trev. And he's had a great season so far throwing the football. Very likely could go over 4,000 yards with a good performance here. And even in an age of passing first, that is no small accomplishment. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first. Here we go, rookie right in, or left in. Here's Lawrence. Oh my god. Zach Cunningham? Zach Cunningham rolling in to get the sack. What the hell happened? Great field position to start the game. I didn't even look anywhere. Can't wait to see what their second down call is gonna look like now. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Play action. It's Lawrence. Open man, this is Brenton Strange. Hey, there we go, Strange. He's taken down. Come on, baby. Twenty-two yards there, a first down. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage. Ball trev. And sent the tight end a few steps down the field, and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. On play action, Lawrence. Johnny Wilson, get out of there! Good shit, my boy. 
is inside the 25. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. His tremendous season passing the football, it continues, Charles. That last throw puts him over 4,000 yards now in a year. Ooh. They still got the rest of November, and all of December is still the play. So to me, 5,000 yards, very much in play. On first and 10, oh, good good blocks. Oh, sure, clearing the way. Holy shit. Ooh, I try to get it there. Oh, Johnny Wilson. Get it in there. Let's oh. Let's go at it again. Go at it again. I'll just do like a Okay, I guess that's fine. Just send them up. The shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. With another touchdown, number 24 on the year. And the Huskies get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points Ooh. in the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, yeah. What he told oh, yeah. Something like that. Johnny Wilson. With some teams, I script Malik to Willis. Part of the game. With the whole teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games. Not a Guara. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score seven nothing. Joey Sly. To let it fly. To kick off after the touchdown. Oh. Oh, smack him. Smack him. Smack him. Smack him. Smack him. There we go. He'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they almost to a man told us how excited they are to be playing in this traditional Thanksgiving game. But we have to remember this is a team that lost on Sunday. Now they get a very quick turnaround to play again. How difficult is that to do? It's difficult under any normal circumstance when you're coming off of a loss and you have a quick turnaround. The first thing is to put the loss behind you and move forward. But when you plan on Thanksgiving Day, Everyone's watching you. It's an added bonus, though, because now you put the loss behind you. Get that taste out of your mouth. Come on, let's go. Is victory, turkey, and pumpkin pie. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal. There we are. Downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Second down and four. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I missed the tackle. Good tackle, Pat. Just four yards, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. But you look at this defense. Uh, they've been pretty much a mess against the pass number 31 in the league. Theory is abound. People have opinions. But too often for this team this season, it's been the big play that's done them in. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. God damn it. Good run. It would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. But it wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went ahead and went heavy. No surprise that it was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just no. Oh my God. No way. 
the completion, we're going to get a stoppage. Here come on, Trey. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we God will take damn a short break. On second down, here's Gibbs. Bro, what the hell was that? They'll still be a yard short here with third down now, Lumen. But Charles, this Thanksgiving tradition so great. I mean, going back essentially through the full century of the NFL, I know you probably have a lot of fond memories of Thanksgiving Day football yourself. I certainly do, and I don't have the turkey bowl tradition. You know, the families that go out and come in and sit down to their feast. And well, I didn't rip that, though. No, God damn it. Ooh. Dave Williams from the Bears returning the Ain't no way, bro. Touchdown to win a game on Thanksgiving Day. I remember so many different things happening. Dude, now I really got to play defense. Tackle that man. There we go, Coop. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. Here's second and one now from the seventh, as they've got it as we resume action. Quick toss. Oh, let's go. Call it a gain of a yard, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. The Lions on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. God damn it. What a fucking pass. Fuck. Santos with the extra point. Yo, I got to keep him under 150. Bro, why? Oh my God! Why is Shahid in? Jesus. We got some. I really just gotta run as much clock as possible if I want to keep him, keep that offense off the field. Fucking dude, I hate this fucking game, dude. Never in my life have I ever taken Quez out. You gotta get up there, Taysom. Come on, dude. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get the play. Fuck okay. me. But you and I both know the funny thing sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's a couple of the starters to really play well to make it work. No, he got bumped off the route, dog. Ooh. Well, look, if I want to keep him from gaining yards, I might as well go for it. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They'll 
Good catch, Kynes. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's fucking go. Here's a give to Bigsby. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. You know, thinking of this Thanksgiving Day game, Charles, for years we've heard the talk. Why don't we open up these Thanksgiving Day games instead of just being Detroit and Dallas every year? Give other teams a shot to host. I know you're kind of like me, a bit of a traditionalist. Good catch, Johnny Wilson. I think it's a great argument, and the league could support it quite well spots and still be very successful on Thanksgiving Good ball, Day. Trevor. You're exactly right. I am a traditionalist. I really don't want Detroit and Dallas to give up those slots. I like the fact that we watch them each and every year. But what I really like is that the league added a third game in 2006. And usually it's division rivals, but that's the third one of the day, and it caps off a great day of football. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. Oh, shit. 36 yards. Second down in the yard. Get that block, Hunts. Now a handoff to Bigsby. And he'll go down here at the 35 yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Hey, Lion, Lion. Give to Bigsby on the option. Ah, good tackle. That's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read. Good catch, Johnny Wilson. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pickup there, 26 yards. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what all Absolutely. The competitors run around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. From the gun, Bigsby. Let's go, Tank. Way to get in there, baby. Third rushing touchdown on the year. Number six overall. And his guys have taken the lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL. A complete back. Three down. Stay on the field. Run it and catch it. And Let's go, baby. Done. We'll save Malik for later. Slide for the point after. All right, got to keep him under 150 for Trayvon. So that one a long 11 play drive. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven yard run. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Boop. Come on, give me a smack. Give me a smack for Trayvon. For Trayvon. For Trayvon. Good smack, boy. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they, of course, coming into this one in the midst of a tough losing streak. They did get helped out by the open week last week. And in talking with him, all indications were, Charles, that that was a very helpful break. Yeah, I know a lot of teams, coaches, they hate taking time off in the midst of a losing streak because they think they have to stay on their toes and punch their way out of it. But occasionally, you get that open week, you step back, evaluate what's been going wrong, See what you can put in that can move you forward, and maybe you get a chance to breathe a little bit and kind of start over. Good DJC. There's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Let's go! Come on, Chase. Good fucking sack, boy. He's the one to get him 
Let's go. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, unblocked on the play action. That's what got him right there. Oh, he hit the him. Oh, wow. Okay, that's how it's going to be, Trayvon. Right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right handed, that's the side you don't see quite as Let's well. Let's go, Quiz. That's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> go get it, Johnny Wilson. Impress my boy. Joey Schlag. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. Let's dominate, boys. Right now, he's feeling it. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Let's get a turnover. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. There we go, Joey. Way to get in there, boy. Another shot now for this Lions offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Let's go. First down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. From the gun, here's gone. Open man is Raymond. Woo, good tackle. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Throw caught by Raymond. Tackle Barrett. Come on. Play that D. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now a first down throw. Go. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. Tackle, boy. And that'll bring up second down. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. Out of the gun. Go. Over the middle. God damn it. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And down inside, Jesus Christ. First down now, but that clock rolling. Play action. It's gone. Woo! End zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. To the air again. Gone. This one swung out to Montgomery. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field. There's Shadir. To see about getting three Shadir. Good hold. Santos kick is up God damn it. Now they're so close to 150, bro. Ain't no way. I love that purple 
vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in... Oh, so close, Quiz. Unless if I can keep getting tackles for loss and sacks. So we're at halftime here on the annual Thanksgiving game in Detroit. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach... All right, Brandon, thanks so much. We'll get back to you and Charles in Detroit in just a moment. Past the halfway point of the season and now past you know, the halfway man. point of this game. We skip you know, halftime and get right back to the action. Inside. Set to begin the third quarter. Gotta shut and off this short pass. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. For the fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well, and most importantly, partner, yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways. God damn it. I knew that shit was coming. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. He can just put it out the side and just try and ram his ball forward and get what he can. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. Pass taken in. You catch Collins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, a lot of times when you get a magical third down situation like this. You have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Ooh. Way to hold on to that. Let's try it. Run here with Bigsby. Good run, baby. I like it. Goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They go play action now. Lawrence. Oh, fuck. God damn it. What they did at halftime to get them so motivated. I don't know, but that sack looked good. Now let's see if they can build on the momentum of that play. Gotta play defense. The cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And we'll see what he can do on the return. It's a 45 yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Lions will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Ooh, dropped the ball. Holy fuck. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big head on them as they try and catch the ball. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. The tackle, He's boys. Taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. That I'll take 144. And it leaves him with a fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now. 
as he's on to punt for Detroit. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Ooh, wasting time. Deep in their own territory. Hi. On the ground with Bigsby who starts to drive. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Uh, excuse me. Another run by Bigsby. Oh, he wants to take it. Oh, he wants the stiffy. Good shit, my boy. Get you some, man. Good block, cunts. And how about the confidence that's being exhibited by that offense now? They don't care what you're lining up doing on the defensive side. They want the big fella to carry the football and carry it off it. We need an instant. It's good blocks. Get the fuck off me. Get your hands off me. Get your fucking hands off me. Huh? So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Here's Bigsby. Ooh! We'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On the carry, Bigsby. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. But if that's success on the ground with this drive, then that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play-action passes as well. Now Lawrence. Bro. Uh... Hold her blast. And ends up falling incomplete. Mutlick Willis. And the holder's gonna keep it. He's gonna try to run for it. God damn it. They're not gonna get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it, it doesn't work. And the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had the Oh my god! Time, no! Fuck! God damn it. Fuck out of here. They don't get the two point conversion here. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach. It takes fucking Jameer Gibbs. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Vancouver offense out and about set for another series. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games. Dog! Ooh, why are you running so shallow? Picked up by the linebacker, Joe Schober. God so damn it. To the 22. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle 
And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes you're fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. Here's Goff now on second down. Let's go. Now the pressure gets there and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. They get to him for a loss of four and it brings up third down on the sack. Back to throw. Goff. Wow. Oh my god. So they make the decision they got a three point lead versus a two point lead. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. And tackled at the 21 yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And the Vancouver offense ready for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. Jesus. Pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit. Because well, because I'm trying to play fucking defense. Gaps a little bit. Maybe their splits a little bit. Back now at Ford Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams. Four offensive touchdowns. Stats, player stats. Let's see what we got there. One tackle for loss. All right, we need one more tackle for loss for Barrett. Set for the fourth quarter. On play action, Lawrence. God damn. Every offensive coordinator. Oh, good block, 60. Seven yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And Bigsby runs more. Jesus. Uh, he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Lawrence. Cunts. Ah, oh, you just had to get in the fucking way, bro. Not sure what happened out there, but look at God damn it. Jesus Christ. Now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. I need a fumble, guys. Change of field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Goff on first down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Let's go! 
Good shit, Trayvon. Or uh, Chase. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it, they were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. God damn it, Derek. You got 99 speed. You can't keep up with Amon Ra. Let's get that tackle for loss. Come on, Barrett. No gain on the play there. Second down. From the gun. Here's gone. Bro. Oh, my God. Jesus. to the tight end and look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot six four six five and up a lot of guys used to be basketball players somehow came back to football and that's really good for the game of football you get better athleticism great hand-eye coordination guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes a give to Montgomery out of the good game. tackle only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. This offense so far on third down, they've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and seven. Goff now looking to throw. And good D. They tried to drop it off, but he couldn't hold on. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. Jesus. I don't even know if I got a tackle for loss on that. Touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Vancouver offense out and about set for another series. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot. Come on, Quez. Let's get open, baby. They go play action with Lawrence. Looking right side, and that's complete to Lawrence. Quez the playmaker. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 27 yards there, a first down. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there. Oh, he, he came down to. He oh, he came down. No, sir. No, sir. Let's go, my boy. Good ball, Trev. 
but I have to understand what was going on defensively. They've got to know that as well, don't they? Absolutely, but they look lost defensively, and they took that shot, got in the end zone. And we're going to be up by one. Let's go. Yes, I was watching the safety. I was like, as soon as he comes down, I was like, dude, I know I'm chucking the shit. Yes, sir. He already know. Said so, ching ching. Here to take the lead. Joey Sly. A very important extra point there. Up and good. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Just got to get one tackle for loss, bro. We'll bear it. Take it in at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw caught by Raymond. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Now Goff on first down. That man again. It's Come on now. And he'll be taken down with a first down as they get about 14 out of that one, and we go to the two-minute warning. From the 50, it's gone. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another gain like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. Now second down and a few inches. Now it's gone. In a way. Incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation. Let's go! Wait, what? That allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Cooper, what are you doing? Bro, he could have caught that. Fucking serious? Wow. Let's go. We got that tackle for loss. You got for me, playmaker. Quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line. The situation for him offensively as follows down by five, a minute six to play. Their long win streak in great peril as they come up first and ten. Wow, the tackle for loss didn't count. Wow. Here's Lawrence. Bro, what do you mean? 
Oh my god. I don't give a shit. Let's get this tackle for loss, bro. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays, but defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do. God damn. Oh my god, an injury timeout. Take a look at him. We will step aside for just a moment. He's gonna get Give me that! Come on! Let's fucking go. That rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. Needed that for Barrett. There we go. Should have fucking picked that off. Two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And he fucking got it. Oh my god, I shaded underneath. God damn. They really went for it, though. I, I still got Barrett fucking superstar, so I'll take it. I hope they enjoyed this one. Bro, but Trayvon really had to get hurt, though. That's the thing. During the break, Charles, remember they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half. Yeah, and yeah. Into the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. Yeah, yeah. Beef, that was a terrible game. Let's go, we got Johnny to an 80. I'll take that. Ability slot, plus three deep. Woo! Absolutely. Yeah, deep in. Shit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 90 field general. Throw mid, throw short. Let's go. Now you know what I get when I get that hot route master. Now we on to something. Chase Young. What, what do we not have? That bull rush. Dude, I got to get edge there at least. Here we go, plus two power. But Europe, next week we got the Dolphins. Got the first loss of the season. Ooh, 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 what is this? Wait, short lead. Okay, hold on. Let's do short lead. Wait, what? I don't even know. What is this? Bear Carter. Let's go. Let's go. Superstar Dev. I'll take it. I'll take the non X factor from Trayvon, but, you know. Yeah, you got hurt, Trayvon. I, like, I, I don't know what else to tell you, man. It's tough, dude. That's fucking tough. But yeah, next week, we got the Dolphins, so we got to bounce back, get ready, and uh, snap into it. Because uh, this 
this loss is unacceptable. But yeah, we're trying to play as good as defense as we could and keep them under a certain amount of yards, so we weren't exactly playing the way we intended to play. So next week we'll be back on it. Yeah, Harry.